Hi everyone, this is Neil from ratinghorses.com. Hope you're well. This is a video um, explaining in a little bit of detail what rating horses uh, do. Um, we're just going to run through the spreadsheet with you and uh, touch on the uh, the new system builder. And um, well, without further ado, let's um, get on. Now. Ratinghorses.com has four membership levels. I won't bore you with all the data because it's all available on the website at ratinghorses.com. Um, membership levels are start from £1.75 a week and they go through up to £4.75 a week. It's fantastic value. You're not tied into any long-term contracts. You can cancel at any time and request um, a, ref a refund for your two or three days that may be outstanding um, on your membership. Um, the, the basic membership is the bronze men membership and you will receive your ratings data which as you can see is right there in front of you on the screen as I speak. That is available as I say at £1.75 a week. Then we go through to silver uh, membership um, which will give you the ratings um, data plus uh, any qualifying selections from one of our systems. Uh, gold is £3.75 a week, you get your ratings data and you get qualifying selections from our two in-house systems plus access to the system builder. And finally we have our platinum membership which is £4.75 a week, gives you your horse ratings data access to qualifying selections from three of our in-house systems plus system builder plus regular email updates uh, on a numerous uh, amount of topics um, more data is all available on the website uh, i don't want to bore you with the, the the membership data as i say it's, it's, it's there for you to um, look and view and choose um, how you see fit whatever membership you join you will get your ratings data in an attachment which will come through via email direct to your email inbox um, each evening before racing now this usually comes through around eight o'clock um, there are two reasons why it may not the first one is uh, when we do our software upgrades which is usually once or twice a month so that may well delay delay for a couple of hours but um, normally the ratings come through around eight o'clock the evening before racing and the second reason um, which doesn't happen very often is if there's an ex extensive change of weather which can affect our ratings so for example if um, we've had a dry spell of weather and the you know the the majority of um, race courses are going at uh, good good to firm firm sort of conditions and then a weather front sweeps across the country a torrential rain which will change uh, ground conditions to soft or heavy then we will hold fire uh, for at least two or three hours until we compile our ratings as I say it can have a detrimental effect on the rating so those are the two reasons why you may have a delay in your ratings but nine times out of ten your ratings will be delivered the evening before racing at eight, around 8 p.m. Um, right, well, let's get into it. Here's the data spreadsheet. If you look, if I could just turn your eyes to the bottom of the screen, you will see three tabs. Now, meetings, meetings, system builder. Meetings, these are the ratings that are in alphabetical meeting order so as you can see on tuesday the 20th of august 2019 we have brighton we scroll down uh kempton is another meeting today um, and then we go down to newton abbott so all the meetings are in alphabetical order if you prefer your race cards to be in time order simply click the race tab and you will see that your race cards are now in time order. So first race of the day, 140 Brighton, two o'clock Kempton, 210 Brighton. Scroll all to uh, the last race, which is the 815 at Sligo today. Our ratings 
um, work 365 days a year, apart from the odd couple of days around Christmas when there's no races. All um, races in England and Ireland are rated, and so you'll get complete race cards for all races for all UK and Irish racing. Now I'm just quickly going to go through um, what all the columns mean, but I will be going into more detail in other videos. So I just want to quickly go through what ratings and what data we've got on our spreadsheet in other emails that are available on our website. Um, we will go into more detail on exactly what they mean uh, and what they consist of. Okay, so don't worry about that. I just want to go through the spreadsheet um, for you today. So obviously the headed column is uh, self-explanatory. It's the 140 at Brighton. That's the name of the race. It's a class five for three-year-olds, five furlongs. The winner takes on maybe three and a half thousand pound. Five runners, um, as I say, five furlongs. The going is good and you can view this on uh, the Sky Channel. The first column um, is our rank column. And this is for our main ratings. Now, our main ratings come in two separate ratings, just to confuse matters. <laughs> now, seriously, these are the R1 and the R2. Now, each rating consists of 40 or 50, 40 to 50 different criteria. Everything is taken into account, be it horse form, um, trainer form, how horses have run in the past on in today's current conditions, um, how they've run against may, maybe some of their opponents today, um, how they've run over the distance in the past, um, basically how trainers have, have performed at that course or at this time of year. Numerous, numerous criteria, around 40 to 50 criteria make up the R1 and the R2 rating. The total, is, of course, is the R1 and R2 scores put together and the rank is what horse the rank is ranked in the, uh, the actual race. Uh, people ask me um, which is the better rating. There's not much in it. Uh, I've not got my data stats in front of me, but the R1, as far as I can remember, win, uh, sorry, the top R1 um, horse, which would be big time maybe in this one with a score of 12, they win around 30% of the time. So if you were back in the clear top rated R1 horse, you can expect it to win around 30% of the time. The R2 is slightly better. I'm not sure if it's 31 or 32% of the time the top R2 horse wins. Okay, so the R2 is a slightly better rating than the R1. Uh, and of course the total is the, the two rating is put together. Um, let's carry on through the spreadsheet. The, the number there is obviously the saddle cloth number. For flat racing, we also have the stall number. You will see that some of these boxes are highlighted in yellow. Uh, you will also see some of those boxes highlighted in green and red. What that means is if they're highlighted in yellow, it's a slight draw positive. If they're highlighted in green, it is a strong draw positive. From time to time, you will see some of these boxes highlighted in red, which means it's a strong negative disadvantage to be drawn in that particular box. So keep an eye on those. Uh, but as I say, more information is available on our website. Um, then we have the horse form, we have the name of the horse, the figure after the ho horse's name is the amount of days since its last run, so you can see Glamorous Rocky uh, ran 9 days ago, Big Time Maybe ran 13 days ago. You will from time to time see some little um, letters, uh, such as B or T. Um, again, this is explained on our data spreadsheet on the website, but B would be uh, blinkers, uh, T would be uh, tongue, tongue tie or tongue strap. Um, all the different abbreviations are available on our website. 
age is the horse age then we've got the weight how much each uh, horse is carrying today then we have the trainer details um, the score after the trainer is a run to form score which is a racing post um, figure and basically in short a horse for run to form figure say Christopher Mason there's got a run, run to form score of 50 that means that 50 percent of his horses have run to the their expected form according to the racing post so the higher the score it goes up to 100 the better as you can see here michael atwater according to the racing post 31 percent of his horses in the last 14 days have run up to form so that's you know below average then we have the jockey with a possible uh, allowance details as we can see here Kieran Fallon is taking five pounds off the uh, horses back today then we have the official figures which are the uh, official rating the top speed and racing post rating the OF strategy is an algorithm um, perfected and exclusive to ratinghorses.com it takes into account the official figures and it spurns out um, a score a rating for us and there we have the uh, rank this is a great little tool believe you me uh, especially in handicaps or where horses have got full amount of data the OS strategy can be a very strong piece of criteria and um, so please always keep an eye on that but as I say we'll go into more detail about that in future um, videos the recent form for horse and trainer the lower the score for the horse the better as you can see big time maybe has got a score of seven uh, trainer form is going back is exactly the same figure as the run to form figure okay um, the speed or the speed ratings and that is the rank so uh, according to our stats uh, big time maybe has the best speed rating in the race and then we come to power rating now power rating is a completely different rating to our normal rating here on the left hand side of the spreadsheet the power rating takes into account all of the data on our spreadsheet okay so as you can see glamorous rocket is the top power rated horse in this race with a score of 68 uh, big time maybe is second ranked with a score of 54 this power rating takes into account all the data on the spreadsheet so it'll take into account the speed figures the recent form for horse and trainer the OF strategy the R2 figure um, the R1 the the overall rating uh, any possible or negative draw bias it takes into account all of the rating and it puts it into significance and gives it a score and that is our power rating another strong tool okay so please keep an eye on those then we come to our odds column we believe at ratinghorses.com that the only way you will win at horse racing in the long term is by getting that edge on the bookmaker by finding value okay so each horse is always given um, an hour odd score now these are in decimals um, for example 3.53 would work out just over 5 to 2 um, 4.44 is just under 7 to 2 okay uh, the, these are the figures you'd be looking at if you were on the exchanges via Betfair um, or you can work those out as I say into um, fractions which is more the older generation I, I, I guess um, including me I'm, I'm more prefer uh, fractions than uh, decimals so what does this mean well it means that if you look through all the data and you do your write-ups and you read up on some on some information on the race and you decide that um, let's say big time maybe you think that horse is a good thing today you think that horse is going to be the winner of that race you look at the um, our odds column and see that 
we are for 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 us to reflect value we think big time maybe should be odds of around 72 or bigger if the odds the live odds are less than 7 to 2 then we are suggesting that is not value okay we're not saying that you shouldn't back it if you fancy it but for true value we are saying the big time maybe should be around 72 or just under we're also saying that glamorous rocket should be around five to two or bigger to reflect value now we're not saying because they're not they're not going to win um, but we're saying that in the long term the only way to win is to get that edge on the bookmaker is to find value 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 is the key and this column here will give you what we suggest the forecast odds of those horses should be to offer value okay um, moving forward we scroll to the right if you just go to the sidebar here and just scroll across we have some more data uh, this data is the official ratings which you will see in the racing post or your or your local or daily um, newspaper um, it gives you the last six runs as you can see here glamorous rocket six runs ago was on a, a, um, a weight of 79 down to 78 77 75 70 uh, last time out LTO stands for last time out was off 68 so you can see that in the last six runs that glamorous rocket has run it has dropped 11 pound in the handicap from 79 to 68 we go to this column here and you can see that today it is also going off 68 okay um, if you look at big time maybe it's gone off 70 69 63 uh, and then it was raised to 73 and then back down to 60 last time out it was 60 okay um, so the handicap there looking at those quick ratings you could suggest or well, the handicap has given big time maybe you know a good chance of winning today considering it's gone off 60 the last twice and finished third and second and as you can see today it's also off 60 okay finally we've got the uh, 14 day stats for the trainer and jockey um, pretty self-explanatory you can see that the trainer here Christopher Mason has had 10 runs in the last 10 days or 10 runners I should say of which two of those have won so two winners from 10 runners in the last 14 days equates to a 20% win strike rate and if you were placing one pound win bet to SP on all of those 10 selections you would be showing a profit of four pound 50 uh, it, well, as you can see with all the other trainers in this race and none of them have had any winners in the last 14 days so they've got a no percent strike rate uh, and they're all losing to one pound level stakes to SP jockey stats are exactly the same um, jockey strike rate as we can see here Charlie Bishop in the last 14 days has had 39 uh, rides three of those have been winning rides so that gives him a eight percent win strike rate if you are backing all of these selections to one pound and um, stakes to uh, sp you will be showing a loss of 11 pounds okay so those are the 14 day stats so those are in short the race cards and the data all uk and irish races are covered um, you can have meeting order or race time order um, I will leave that there for now there are further videos on the website which goes into more detail on the specifics uh, the different specific criteria and we shall also be uploading a video for the system builder which is a fantastic uh, little tool so we'll leave that there please make sure you're um, viewing uh, other uh, videos on our website at uh, ratinghorses.com. Thank you.